What's up, Team Asian? What's up, Team Asian? What's up, Team Asian? What's up, Team Asian? In this video, I'll be going over the top five. What's up, Team Asian? In this video, I'll be going over the top five best gifts for bowlers. It's getting close to Christmas, so I thought I'd make a video talking about my picks for the best gifts to give to bowlers because these are things that bowlers are probably constantly needing or it's a good idea to have a backup of. So getting right into number five, my number five pick is Ball Cleaner. This is Powerhouse. This is a really good brand to uh, use. Uh, sometimes I'll use this right after I use uh, a detox machine. Uh, if it, uh, it's a really old video that I have about it. I'll put it right up here. And this hook it that I got in my bowl box, which I'll put the video right up here if you haven't seen it. I haven't tried this one yet, but when I do try it, I'll put it on my Instagram and I'll put it right here so you can go follow me. But I know Powerhouse is really good and I'm not sure about this one. Ball cleaner is a really good thing to get in case you ever need to clean. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. This next one is one that I always use and it's really good to have. It's always good to have back it's up, back. My number four pick is, is something that I'm constantly using and I find that I need more of, I need backups of because I always lose it. Uh, rosin bags are ultra grip hand conditioner and puff balls. I, I use a puff ball every time I bowl, I need a puff ball. So I always use a puff ball while I bowl. I always, I can't bowl without this. And I also have this as a backup just in case I lose this. But this is a really good one to use. And if you're buying this for somebody that uses a puff ball, I'd make sure if it's the big giant puff ball or the regular puff ball, they have a preferred size, the big one and the small one, try to get the one that uh, they use. These are good things to have a backup of because I'm constantly losing these. I'm not sure about any of you guys, but I'm constantly losing my puff ball and having to buy new ones. So I have to go sometimes without a puff ball. But this is a good one to give to somebody that always uses a puff ball or the rosin bag stuff. So my number three pick is like my best friend when it comes to bowling and it is tape. Tape, you always need tape. Even if you don't use tape, it's always good to have tape with you no matter what. And this is the tape that I use. I use, I mostly use this turbo tape, the regular stuff. It doesn't matter what color, they're all the same. I also have this one, this teal colored one. This one's also really good. And I got this roll of black tape that goes in the thumb hole. I also have this one inch tape that also goes inside the ball. And of course, last but not least, I got that hara, hara patch. God, I need to get a life. If you're gonna give this as a gift, I'd recommend finding out what type of tape they use so you get the right tape for them. And even if you don't use tape, it's a good thing to have tape on hand just in case. All the gifts that I talk about in this video, I'll leave a link to where you can buy them in the description in case you wanna send them the link to give them a hint of what you want for Christmas or to buy one of these items for someone else. So my number two pick only really applies to people that have interchangeable shoes that have for the sole and the heel. It's always good to have extra sliding pads. It's good to have more like here I always use the S4 and I have two of them here. I have a backup just in case because if you're in the bowling alley and you accidentally step on some water or soda that somebody might have spilled, uh, you don't want to be out of luck and not have the sliding pad that you need for that alley. So it's always good to have extra in case something happens to one of them. And it's also good to have different heels just in case because sometimes you have no idea you, uh, the bowling alley you're going to, you never bowl that so you don't know. <laughs> My number one pick for a gift. My number one pick for a gift for a bowler is a good assortment of tools. So something that I think all tournament bowlers need are a good set of tools like skizzers, a screwdriver, even uh, this thing. I think it's like a, a chisel or something. These are good things to have just in case the pro shop in case the bowling alley that you're bowling at the pro shop is closed or they just don't have one. It's good to have these types of things with you at all times in case you need to cut tape. Something like something like a chisel or a good knife will work too in case uh, there's something rubbing on your thumb or something happens to your ball where it doesn't fit right. You could chisel it out and fix it pretty easily with one of these things. And of course you need scissors. I have two types of scissors here. Uh, I use these scissors for when I'm cutting uh, some tape because these are really sharp. And I use these if I have to cut uh, in pretty much anything else, like my thumb. But these are really good to have at all times, just in case there's not a pro shop near you or it's closed. The, with the holidays rolling around, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about gifts to bowlers. Like I said earlier, everything that I mentioned here about the gifts will be linked in the description for you can find it easily. Also coming out later this month or sometime after this video, I'll be doing a video about the top five things every bowling parent needs. If you're a parent, you can buy this for yourself if you travel with your kids and your kids are tournament bowlers 
or for the kids if they want to get this for their parents for Christmas as well. I'm not sure when this video is coming out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's coming out before I go on my special trip. So the beginning of December, I'm going to be going flying to Hawaii to bowl HBT and a Junior Gold Qualifier. So look out for those vlogs. I'll be taking you guys on that trip as well. So if you are from Hawaii and you're going to be there, be sure to say hello. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and please subscribe. Possible giveaway of 5,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Green.